Shaba shujamu mtazamaji na karibu katika Fataki na Mikiki inapofika saa mbili unajua kwamba ni siku speciali siku ya wiki na tunaanza wiki bwana kwa mnonge mnonge tunaserereka mtazamaji ndani ya viwanja mtazamaji na ndani ya muda wa sali moja unaenda kwa nami na odha wako siku zote enzi zote Davis Mberi mtazamaji na leo ni siku kubwa eti siku ya vikapu tunajaza kote kote mtazamaji manake hii leo siku kubwa mno na mtazamaji sitakuwa peke yangu manake kwenye jamvi nzima hata kuepo hapa dan mtazamaji hapa mchanganuzi wa michezo ambaye yupo ndani ya Fataki na Mikiki kila uchao siku Jumatatu hutomkosa kwenye Zoom mtazamaji kuna hawa bila shaka wawili wamekaa kwenye Zoom kwa upande wako mtazamaji mwingine kunaye anaodha wa timu ya taifa ya kikapu mtazamaji Kenya Morans timu ya taifa ya kikapu kwa wanaume bwana Griffin Ligari amekaa wima huyu atakao natuelezea Jen Kenya Morans waliweza kutamba vipi na upande mwingine kunaye hapa mchanganuzi mchambuzi mzima huyu ni gwiji wa soka bwana Athana Sobango hao ndio mtazamaji wanaenda kwa nasi ndani ya muda wa lisali moja na bila shaka ni gumzo mzito zaidi lakini kabla tu ya kuanza mtazamaji naomba tunikujulishe ambaye tunaenda kuguzia tunaenda kuguzia kuhusiana na kapu la Kenya Morans tuangazie uh, mashindano ya mbio za magari ya ARC Equator mtazamaji ambayo yaliendelewa weekend nzima kisha pia tuangazie timu za Kenya zinashamiri vipi zinaendelea vipi kule Tunisia katika michuano ya volleyball ya vilabu bara Afrika mtazamaji hayo ndio mtazamaji tunaenda kuangazia na pia tusisaze tusiwache eti tusiondoke bila kuguzia ligi kuu ya soka Uingereza na pia usiku wa mabingwa Ulaya unarejea eti mm, nusu finali nzito zaidi nani atatua katika finali mechi ya mikondo wa mkondo wa kwanza inapiga usiku itakuwaje Jumanne itakuwaje Jumatano gumzo la siku mtazamaji naomba nikuhusishe katika swali la siku sasa hapa na kuuliza bwana nipe ubashiri mm, una tazamia nani bwana nipo bashiri wako wa mechi za klabu bingwa bara Ulaya wiki hii Chelsea dhidi ya Real Madrid na PSG dhidi ya Man City nani atatamba nipo bashiri wako mechi za klabu bingwa Ulaya wiki hii Chelsea dhidi ya Real Madrid Jumanne usiku na PSG dhidi ya Man City Jumatano usiku eti itakuwaje nani atatamba si unajua pale ambako unachora wino ni pale uh, Twitter at Ebru TV Kenya at Davis Meria kwenye Facebook mtazamaji ni Ebru K na at Davis Mberia alama really pale Twitter ni Fataki na Mikiki chora wino wako pale Twitter mimi nitakuwa nasoma jumbe zako kisha wale ambao wanakaa wima kwenye bana hapa WhatsApp kuna nambari ya WhatsApp utasema nasi sema uliko jina lako ni ipi na je unatizama kipindi ukiwa wapi na ubashiri wako ni upi katika usiku wa mabingwa mechi mbili zinazopigwa siku ya Jumanne na Jumatano moja kwa moja mtazamaji tuanze na kikapu cha timu ya taifa ya, vol, uh, ya kikapu hapa nchini Kenya Morans ambapo kwenye Zoom anakaa Griffin Ligare huyu naodha wa timu ya taifa ya kikapu nchini uh, Steven uh, Hari vipi Griffin na unatupata ukiwa wapi bwana? Ah, uh, niaje niaje uh, Davis niko niko kugashie. Uh-huh. I, um, huko ndio this is where I live man. <laughs> na so. naamini kwamba unajua vimombo uh, kidogo ndio vyenyu bwana. Watu wa timu ya taifa wa uh, kikapu mnakuwa mnapiga kama wale tu wa NBA. Uh, <laughs> yeah that's what they think but uh, yeah mm-hmm. yeah si pia mm-hmm. uh, si wangu ya Kiswahili sana sana kwa sababu ya hiyo ndio hiyo ndio lugha taifa Aha, shukran. Sasa Griffin yeah. tukianza tu uh, wewe ulikuwa na odha wa timu ambayo iliweka historia kubwa bwana mkifuzu kwa mara kwanza katika mashindano ya Afro Basket baada ya kipindi kirefu cha zaidi ya miaka ishirini Kwanza tu tukianzia tu pale hali ilikuwa kwaje mchuano wa mwisho dhidi ya Angola mchuano ambao wa Kenya wengi waliingiwa sana na furaha kote kukatanda mlipokelewa kutoka kule uh, mtazamaji Cameroon mkiwa na uh, furaha tele pale tu kabla ya mechi ilikuwa kwaje ha, ilikuwa poa um, na um, you know Angola is a is a really good team mm-hmm. you know in, in, in Africa wako ranked you know wako ranked yani juu sana mm-hmm. so, but uh, you know just before the game mm-hmm. uh, we knew uh, what we had to to do mm-hmm. to stand a chance to win against Angola mm-hmm. uh, because uh, 
you know tulikuwa tume prepare tulikuwa mm-hmm. tume prepare vizuri and mm-hmm. everything sasa tunajua ile before game you just going through what you supposed to do what uh-huh. you're not supposed to do mm-hmm. na yeah game ikaanza mm-hmm. game ikaanza and then you know game ikishaanza una realize at the end of the day they are just opponents like any other opponent you know mm-hmm. you know they're just human beings like you uh in as much as they might be a better team mm-hmm. and then you know ikakuwa ni back and forth mm-hmm. back and forth until um uh, until the fourth quarter mm-hmm. so that's when we smell uh like we can really get this game mm-hmm. so you know we had a run in the fourth quarter and then to kind of do uh like a few points mm-hmm. maybe if Uh, four six points and then angola being angola you know it's a really good team mm-hmm. they were able to get back in the game mm-hmm. and they went up with one point with a few seconds to go mm-hmm. and that's when uh our best player tyler okari uh-huh. had the ball in it. Uh-huh. and then akapewa say signal akambewa say wa wa spread you know wa mm-hmm. open up so that aweze kucheza iso mm-hmm. against Mm-hmm. and uh, you know it is at that moment that nikakumbuka Tyler Okari you know a shy kuna such kind of moments before mm-hmm. and like this is not happening again you know mm-hmm. because you've seen it he was just taking the time off the clock so that aki shoot mm-hmm. opponents was equal na time uh, you know any time left mm-hmm. in kwa imeisha mm-hmm. that was really, really you know you know huge from Tyler that was a big big play mm-hmm. and at the very last second uh, that's when aka pick up his you know his dribble aka shot fake it was a really really tough shot mm-hmm. and then you know he made it um he made the shot so we were like crazy 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 because now Yeah that's when we knew uh we've you know for the first time in history we've been <laughs> able to uh-huh. beat Angola. Uh-huh. But that wasn't the main thing. The main thing was that win was very very important to us because sasa ili cement our qualification spot for mm-hmm. Afro basket. Mm-hmm. You know Tyler's shot won us the game against the mighty Angolans and at the same time ili cement our position to to qualify for afro basket something mm-hmm. that you know we haven't uh, been able to to uh, to take part for like 20 something years 28 years actually <laughs> so it was a very very I mean I was so so happy and you know it was like the highlight mm-hmm. of my basketball mm-hmm. career mm-hmm. Yeah. Griffin Nikki uh, Rudi tu katika kikosi wewe ni nahodha na una usimamizi ama kuna pale uh, uhusiano karibu na wachezaji. Unahisi kwamba ujio wake huyu coach Charles Mills katika kikosi kulibadili mchezo wenu kiasi cha kutamba kule Cameroon dhidi ya Angola na kufuzu katika michuano ya Afro Basket. Na nini ni aswa Liz Mills aliekeza uh, katika kikosi ama ni nini haswa alibadili katika mchezo wenu? Of course, of course I'll go a great impact to the way we play. Uh-huh. Because uh, when she came in, she came in at a point where by ndo tulikuwa tuna prepare sa kwenda for the second uh, uh, second window of the qualifiers. Uh-huh. And uh, at that point, I made to I come and watch a lot of film about the Morans. Uh-huh. So she had a very very good idea of how we play. Uh-huh. So when she was coming in, she was coming in to fill in to fill in the gaps mm-hmm. and to make sure we are a solid team mm-hmm. especially in terms of tactical approach a game mm-hmm. okay angalia statistics ni na nini so vitu zote by the time she was coming in she was like we know we need to be solid here we cannot have losing ends mm-hmm. because when you play against the great teams mm-hmm. in a coming down to small small things mm-hmm. so those small small things will come in kabadeli make sure to make Yeah, and make sure to make tighten up mm-hmm. so that uh to kienda uh, for the second window we we uh, we get to become a much much better team. At ile ile game tulicheza against Senegal. Mm-hmm. Uh ukiangalia mm-hmm. hiyo game tulicheza poor, tulicheza poor first half 
haikuwa pen in the first in the first half tulikuwa kwa nzito yeah tulikuwa tumecheza vizuri sana because those loose ends that, that we were supposed to tighten up especially our transition plays transition from offense to defense defense to offense kulikuwa na lot of loose ends so mm-hmm. when she came in she got uh, to me tighten up <laughs> so you know coach coach Liz ku to join ilikuwa ilikuwa like a great thing and um, she came in just at the right time <laughs> wakati huu uh, yeah. uh, wakati rais uru kenyata mesitisha michezo yote nchini wewe kama naodha wa klabu cha Thanda ambacho kinashiriki ligi kuu ya kikapu nchini na bila shaka naodha pia timu ya taifa uh, hili limeathiri vipi maandalizi ya timu ya taifa katika ma, uh, uh, michuano ya Afro Basket na pia katika mchezo wako uh, katika ligi kuu ya kikapu nchini uh, na klabu cha Thanda um, wacha kwanza nianze kuongea kuhusu the Morans mm-hmm. I think um for the Morans part I don't think to make were affected that much because we weren't supposed to start training anytime um this time when you know suspension of all sporting activities mm-hmm. but uh the fact that uh, we are not playing uh the local domestic league mm-hmm. in time preparation zetu za Moran because you see mm-hmm. Uh, when we prepare locally na tunaweza kucheza the domestic league and all that mm-hmm. in a way it's a way for us to prepare for afro basket because we get to play basketball at the end of the day mm-hmm. so ile ile nyi imekuwa affected the most ni us playing locally because now atuwezi enda mazoezi mm-hmm. you know atuwezi cheza league games mm-hmm. we cannot uh come together as a team mm-hmm. and have our practices so mm-hmm. uh, as we speak at the moment that's in itself it may it may to affect like a lot mm-hmm. but what we are trying to do you know just to uh you know to stay game shape and all that we are trying to be active um you know in our respective homes mm-hmm. we are trying to talk to each other so that you know mentally mentally you know with all this going on a lot can happen yeah mm-hmm. so we're trying to check on each other so that uh, mentally to kwe kwe sawa space mm-hmm. we're sawa mentally and then physically to not try to be as active as much as we can lakini we it cannot be the same car bado mazoezi inge kwa endelea so if there's a way if there's a way that uh, restrictions can be put in place Mm-hmm. and then uh, teams can be allowed to get back with condition that uh, they observe those uh, restrictions mm-hmm. it could be a really good thing because now this is the second year now mm-hmm. last year uh, covid ikafungwa tena we didn't have the yeah unaona mm-hmm. and then now this is the second year so if um, there's a way that vitus uh, nezapangwa restrictions are in place and then teams the the have to abide by that so that we can get back to sports mm-hmm ada bila mafans inaweza kuwa poa sana. Ah uh, Griffin tu tukimalizia au ujumbe wako kwa Kenya kama uh, mchezaji wa Kenya Morans na mchezaji wa Thunder klabu cha uh, ligi kuu ya kikapu nchini. Ujumbe wako tu ndani ya uh, sekunde 30 ni upi? Ah uh, Morans is uh, you know is a big big uh, I don't know how to say it it's going out not just to participate in afro basket it's going mm-hmm. out to make a big big impact mm-hmm. and uh we say what to support what to support um you know in everything that we do and we have basketball in kenya it's 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 uh, we also have a local league mm-hmm. people should come out and support that because that's where we you know the best uh you know the best talents are uh, we we get them from there so Yeah let's support basketball in Kenya let's support the Morans
Shukran sana Griffin Legare huyo bwana ni naodho timu ya taifa ya Kenya Moran shukran sana kwa kusema nasi na pia maandalizi ya timu hii bwana tunawatakia heri na fanaka na tawakati rais Uhuru Kenyatta tarejesha bwana michezo yote shughuli zote viwanjani na tumai kwamba mpira wa kikapu utafana zaidi na amezungumzia kwamba hebu tujitokeze bwana tuingie viwanjani tuwape bwana uh, support wale wachezaji wa kikapu na um, mechi zote za kikapu kuna kwamba hadhi ya mchezo huu nchini unakuwa hata zaidi na kuipa ya timu ya taifa bwana uh, jeki kubwa kuna kwamba wanatamba katika anga za kimataifa mtazamaji tuachane sasa na mpira pale wa kikapu mtazamaji sasa turejee katika kasi ya mbio za magari kwani weekend nzima pale naivasha mtazamaji kulishuhudiwa bwana kasi kubwa kivumbi kikitambarizwa ila matope ya kasheni lakini madereva hata hivyo wakasema aula sisi hapa tutakitambariza tu bwana um, ikiwemo anga ya mbaya ya uh, hali mbaya ya anga lakini hapa bwana Carl Flash Tundo akaweza kuibuka mshindi bwana katika mbio hizi za ALC Equator Rally ambazo pia ni maandalizi ambazo natumika kama maandalizi ya mbio za magari ya safari rally bwana ambaye itakuwa inarejea nchini baada ya kipindi kirefu mtazamaji cha zaidi ya miaka kumi bwana tumekuwa tukikaa ndani ya giza lakini wacha tusikize bwana huyu Carl Flash ndo aliweza kuzungumza vipi baada ya mashindano hayo baada ya kutamba ilikuwa vipi Carl Flash Tundo ambaye alikata utepe ya makibuka mshindi ndani ya muda wa saa mbili dakika 35 na sekunde sufuri nane mtazamaji kule Naivasha na hapa sasa nawahusisha tu uh, sekunde 30 30 tukisonga mbele kwa haraka sababu ya muda wa changanuzi wangu hapa kunaye Duncan Mtuwa mtazamaji na kwenye Zoom kunaye bwana mm, athana sobango nikianza tu nawe Duncan tuliweza kushuhudia Rais Uhuru Kenyatta akihudhuria mashindano haya tukashuhudia um, uh, ziri wa michezo B Amina Muhammad akihudhuria je kuna uh, kwamba mwanga gizani unaonekana kwamba michezo huenda ikarejea <laughs> uh, waliweza kutuonesha kitu kama mwanga sababu mm -hmm. nadhani kwenye hotuba yake alisema kuwa michezo zote zitaenda zita, zita kuwa suspended uh -huh. je ile 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 ile, ile masafa iko pale mm -hmm. rally iko pale imetokea mm -hmm. na sita sita uliza swali <laughs> kuhusu kwa nini iliendelea <laughs> kwa nini iliendelea lakini nadhani ni, ni furaha kubwa kuona safari rally imetokea mm -hmm. baada ya miaka kumi tunaweza kushuhudia kitu kingine kitu kingine kama hiyo mm -hmm. sababu niki nikiwa mdogo pale zile enzi za Ian Duncan na kumbuka nilimtembelea shukshu yangu kule mashambani na <laughs> ya safari rally inatokea <laughs> kabidi ni amke mapema sana <laughs> kusimama njiani niende ningoje nione nione, nione nione mambo kama haya yakitendeka mm -hmm. ni furaha sana na pia ni, ni pia motivation kwa watoto ambao wana, wana kuwa zaidi mm -hmm. ambao wako na ndoto za kuendesha magari kama haya ambao wana ndoto ya kuendesha magari kama hayo athana sobango hali vipi kwanza na je kuna mwanga gizani kwamba michezo huenda ikarejea kwani uh, weekend tulishuhudia uh, kindumbwe ndumbe tukashuhudia kijasho cha uh, ARC iko rally Carl Flash Tundo akitamba hata zaidi kuhudhuria kwa mashindano hayo kwa kwake mheshimiwa rais Uh, sio ishara kuwa michezo zitarudi maana yake ukiangalia ule mchezo wa mashindano yale ya, ya magari uh, sio mashabiki uh, mashabiki si lazima mashabiki wawe pale Aha. kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni yeye labda kama mashabiki wa mashindano ya magari aliweza kupiga lakini watu wasiwe na wasiwe na ile matumaini kuwa labda mambo yatabadilika hmm. nafikiri mambo mengi inategemea wizara ya afya hmm. ambayo inaweza kupea mwelekeo kulingana na hali ya janga hili la corona kwa sasa tuweze sema eh, kuhudhuria kwa uh, rais huru kinyata kuweza kuhudhuria mashindano yale hmm. sio si ishara ya kuonyesha kuwa labda michezo zitarudi hivi karibuni si bado hmm. kuna na nafasi kubwa sana mm -hmm. eh, ya kuweza kuangalia kuwa labda janga hili limeweza kuangaliwa na limeweza kudhibitiwa vilivyo. Kwa hivyo mm -hmm. kwa sasa nadasema baba bado kuminana na serikali nafikiri bado michezo zimefungwa mm -hmm. na tuweze kusubiri tu mpaka mambo yaweze kubadilika. Mm -hmm. 
Tuweze kusubiri wakati mambo yataweza kubadilika mtazamaji. Hiyo ni kasi ya mbio za magari nchini. Tusalie na hiyo kasi mtazamaji tu angaze macho yetu sasa hadi kule Tunis Tunisia ambako uh, mtazamaji vilabu vya kutoka munchini vinashiriki katika uh, mashindano ya vilabu katika dimba la volleyball kwa vilabu bara Afrika mtazamaji. Na tayari hapa upande wa wanaume GSU mtazamaji na kipi yeye waliweza kubanduliwa na hii leo mtazamaji kumekuwa na zile mechi za a uh, kuangania nafasi ya 7 8 9 10 haya tuangazie kwanza matokeo ya kuanzia weekend yalikuwa kwaje kisha ni kujuze hii leo mechi zipi zilipigwa upande wanawake Kenya Pipeline na Prisons J waliwangata nani tukianza tu moja kwa moja kama mwelekezo wangu Josu utanipigia pale matokeo ya vilabu hivi vine ambavyo vinashiriki ama vinawakilisha Kenya katika volleyball ya bara Afrika kwa vilabu mtazamaji upande wa wanawake mtazamaji Kenya Pipeline waliweza kutoa waliweza kuzabwa Uh, sufuri tatu na AS Donis Kenya Prisons wakaweza kuzabwa tatu mbili na CS uh, Sex Funds mtazamaji nusu finali za wanaume GSU wakapoteza na kubanduliwa mtazamaji baada ya kuchapwa tatu nunge na Esperance na kisha uh, KPA mtazamaji wakaweza kuzabwa tatu moja na Zamalek mtazamaji hayo yalikuwa matokeo bila shaka ya weekend tuangazie tu matokeo leo kwani wana bila shaka GSU mtazamaji hii leo na Kenya Pipeline na bila shaka pale KPA waliweza kutoa ushindi tukianza tu hapa ni uh, upande wa wanaume mtazamaji uh, kusaka nafasi ya tano na sita uh, katika mchuano wa kwanza KPA waliweza kutoa ushindi uh, waliweza kutoa uh, wakapigwa moja tatu na bila shaka wakata ushindi wa tatu moja dhidi ya Port Douala seti ya kwanza 18 25 seti ya pili 21 25 seti ya, ta, uh, ya tatu 20 25 na mwisho siku tatu moja wakaweza kutoa ushindi dhidi ya Port Douala klabu cha kutoka kule Cameroon katika mechi nyingine ni kwamba GSU ya pa Kenya ilieza bila shaka kutoa ushindi wa tatu nunge dhidi ya Nemosta hiki ni klabu cha volleyball kutoka kule Uganda na 25:14:19:25:19 na 25:19 mtazamaji ni baadhi tu ya matokeo ya vilabu vinavyoshiriki katika mashindano haya mtazamaji upande wa wanawake Kenya Prisons waliweza kutoa ushindi hii leo watatu nunge dhidi ya Walaita Sodo mtazamaji nao Kenya Pipeline nao pia wakaweza kutoa ushindi ama wakazabwa tatu nunge na Carthage mtazamaji haya ni matokeo ya vilabu hivi ambavyo vinashiriki katika michuano hiyo ya volleyball bara Afrika mtazamaji na bila shaka tunatokea mema na tayari GSU na KPO shabanduliwa sasa katika awamu ya nusu finali ita, robo finali itakuwaje haya tuachane na hayo ya kule Tunis tuangazie sasa mtazamaji moja kwa moja Michael Olunga mshambulizi wa timu ya taifa ya Harambe Stars eti amewaka kani moto hata zaidi anaonyesha warabu kwamba katika michuano ya klabu bingwa kule Asia mtazamaji kwamba mimi ni mkenya na piga bao na muniezi tena mtazamaji tuliweza kuona kwamba kitamba lakini uh, safi yake kutamba katika klabu cha Alduhal kinaweza kuweka Alduhal katika nafasi bora ya kutamba katika mashindano haya tukiangalia tu rekodi yake Olunga katika michuano ambayo amepiga katika uh, klabu bingwa bara Asia mtazamaji tayari ameshafunga mabao sita kule bwana anatamba zaidi Aprili 25 alifunga mabao mawili katika sari ya mbili mbili dhidi ya Esgalal ya Iran Aprili 21 akapachika hattrick ama mabao matatu mtazamaji ukipenda kwa hapa Aldu hal klabu chake ushindi wa nne tatu dhidi ya Estglal ya Iran ilikuwa hii mechi ya mkondo wa kwanza na mkondo wa pili Aprili 18 alifunga katika sare ya moja moja dhidi ya Al Ahly Saudi hizi zilikuwa mechi ambazo Olunga amepiga bado tu rekodi ya Olunga kule Al Duhal ya Qatar mtazamaji Omar Al Soma mm wa Alhal Saudi na Diabet wanamfuata wakiwa na mabao mane kila mmoja. Sasa hapa Olunga ndiye anaongoza chati la mabao wafungaji bora kule. Huyo ni kama Messi, huyu ni kama Ronaldo wa Kenya ambaye anapeperusha bendera ya Kenya kimataifa. Olunga amefunga jumla mabao 16 ndani ya mechi 19 alizoichezea Al Duhal kufikia sasa ametamba sana, amewaka sana. Tunaweza mzungumziaje Olunga? Je, ni wakti sasa mzuri ambapo vilabu vya kutoka kule Ulaya vitakuwa vina angazia pakubwa ni wak, nadhani ni wakati sababu ukiangalia Olunga mali popote ambapo ameenda ameweza kufanya ile kitu tunasema kujiprove sababu uh-huh. akiwa kule aliweza kutokea aliweza kupiga pale gor uh-huh. akafunga bao zake uh-huh. akaenda kule 
nadhani Korea akafanya mm. mambo yake <coughs> akakuja tena Hispaniola na Girona akafanya mambo yake <coughs> sasa hizi kule kule kule, kule Qatar anafanya mambo yake <coughs> inamaanisha inamaanisha kuwa Olunga popote anataenda <coughs> anaweza anaweza fanya <coughs> vitu za vitu za kufurahisha alafu ukiangalia ukiangalia pia ukiangalia pia Olunga ile kuingia pale katara ijamchukua muda sababu wachezaji wengi tunaona wachezaji wengi ambao tunasema kuwa ni wakubwa zaidi mm-hmm. Wana, wakienda ligi mpya wanaweza kungangana kuchukua wakati ndio waweze waweze kutamba mm-hmm. Olunga amefika pale mm-hmm. kazi imeanza hapo hapo nadhani mm-hmm. anamaanisha anamaanisha kitu kubwa sana na pia ile form ambayo yuko ni boost sana kwa Rambe Stars sababu akiitwa pale mm-hmm. ataweza ataweza kuleta ile form yake kwenye Rambe Stars mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ni wakati sasa ana klabu kubwa ziweze kumwangalia sana. Klabu kubwa ziweze kumwangalia sana. Ubango tu kwa haraka tukiguzia ili swali amezungumzia kuhusiana na alipachika mali tamba katika klabu cha Gormahi hapa nchini kabla tu ya kuwekeza majembe yake uhaibuni. Na kumbuka mwaka 2015 Gormahi wakitoa ushindi bila kushindwa bwana. Hapa huyo Lunga kipachika wavuni mabao 19 na ushirikiano wake mkubwa inakumbukwa zaidi na kumbuka enzi zile ushirikiano wake na Medica Gere na Ali ya bonde ulikuwa mkubwa zaidi wote hao watatu wakiwa katika chati la ufungaji bora hata zaidi unamzungumziaje Olunga ni wakati sahihi ambapo sasa ananyosha njia yake ya kutoa kule Ulaya e, mwanzo nafikiri e, kwa maoni yangu itakuwa labda vigumu tena yeye kuweza kurudi kule Ulaya manake utapata kuwa e, ligi ya kule Asia na na, na labda nchi zingine kule kidogo hmm. wale ma scout wa Ulaya huwa huwa waangazie sana manake kawaida huwa huwa ni mchezaji anatoka Ulaya akienda hmm. kule kule Warabuni kwenda ku kama kwenda kumalizia ile kariya yake pale hmm. lakini Olunga na miaka ile yako nayo kidogo nafikiri eh, labda itabidi labda kufanyika jambo lingine ndio aweze kurudi Ulaya itakuwa ni vigumu kidogo yeye kuweza kurudi Ulaya hmm. nafikiri kwa vile yeye ni mchezaji wa kulipwa hmm. na nafikiri kuondoka kwa kwa ile timu ya Japan na kwenda kuweza kwenda kule Warabuni hmm. nafikiri madhumuni makubwa ilikuwa ni labda kuweza ku, ku, kuendelea kupata donge ama kuendelea kupata mapato mazuri hmm. kwa hivyo kwa mchezaji wa kulipwa akipata nafasi ambayo ni inamletea ina hela kidogo hata 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 cheza wajua hmm. kuna wale kuna wale wamecheza kule Warabuni bila kwenda Ulaya na wakastaafu waka ni maisha yao iko sawa. Hmm. Kwa hivyo kwa Olunga nafikiri ukishaitwa msaji wa kulipwa wewe aja yako ni kutafuta hela. Hmm. Olunga anatafuta hela wale hmm. jamaa walimsajili kutoka kule Japan hmm. na kwa sasa nafikiri hawana ile tunasema kwa kimongo regret ya kuweza kumpata ile Olunga manake hmm. <coughs> walimuita kuja kufunga mabao anafunga mabao. Haijalishi hmm. e, ligi hata kama ina, ina uzito vile lakini muhimu wale walimsajili wali aje aje kufunga mabao na kufanya kazi yake kama kama mshambulizi. Hapo hmm. Olunga acha fanye kazi yake atengeze pesa yake akistaafu yeye atakuwa akiogelea kule baharini sio awe staafu na kifanya mambo yake mwisho wa siku anasema kwamba mpunga muhimu zaidi manake baada ya soka kuna maisha na katika maisha bwana anahitaji pia kustarehe na hapa anatafuta senti hatafuti jina tena mtazamaji huyo ni athana sobango mtazamaji lakini hapo tunapiga break fupi tukirejea sasa toka tunajimwaya toka tunaingia alafu tuna kaa wima kabisa katika dimba la bila shaka ligi kuu ya soka Uingereza lakini kabla tu kwenda break na kuuliza je eti ubashiri wako ni upi katika usiku wa mabingwa kati Real Madrid wanapiga dhidi ya Chelsea PSG dhidi ya Man City sema Twitter sema Facebook na kwenye nambari yetu ya WhatsApp usikwende mbali na rejea na makubwa Karibu tena mtazamaji hewani ni Fataki na Mikiki na awamu ya pili mtazamaji tunazungumzia yote kuhusiana na michezo mtazamaji na kipindi cha pili hiki mtazamaji tunapiga kuhusiana na ligi kuu ya soka Uingereza usiku wa mabingwa na pia fainali ya Karabao eti kulikoni mtazamaji lakini kabla tu niangazi hayo mtazamaji naomba nipitie jumbe zako nione unasema nami ukiwa wapi na je kuhusiana na swali la siku nikakuuliza nipe ubashiri je 
wako ama ubashiri wako katika mechi za klabu bingwa bara Ulaya wiki hii Chelsea wakipiga dhidi ya Real Madrid na PSG wakipiga dhidi ya City nani atatamba mtazamaji hapa nikipitia tu baadhi tu ya jumbe na ona hapa mmoja anasema VP na Oda Davis alimia wachambuzi uh, bomba Bango na Duncan na watu wa kamera na walio uh, lio kwenye gallery huyu anawajua zaidi <laughs> na wanapiga kazi safi kabisa sisi kama Arsenal tunahitaji deliverance mpira imetulemea kabisa inafaa ubango asikie hii kisha akasema kwamba Olunga akaeka vyemoji vya moto kwamba Olunga amewaka zaidi predictions za championship league Real Madrid 3-1 Chelsea bwana watanyukwa 3-1 kisha PSG watashinda mbili moja dhidi ya City na Europa League Villarreal ne nunge dhidi ya Arsenal na United 3-2 dhidi ya AS Roma ni Eli kutoka Gidurai Eli shukran sana shabiki mkubwa sana hello uh, Ebru TV ni Actorina Oko Uh, Octorina finali niko na Manchester City na versus Real Madrid Kaloleni iko locked na salimia mam Alice akiwa bwana Kericho kuna mwingine hapo anasema kwamba ni Alvin Agesa kutoka Bonu Yange natakia wana Chelsea bila shaka ushindi uh, Agri Rono kutoka Che Che Bang Chebangang sis kama uh, Chelsea tunawaua mtu kesho akasema ala kisha akaweka vyemoji vya kusalimiana na kuweka vile vya nguvu bwana kwamba Chelsea wanaweza hata zaidi Ephraim kutoka Karmopoi tuko pamoja ndani ya Fataki na Mikiki kina waka hata zaidi hai Fataki na Mikiki Sawili from Ungwaro 56 na Ulizo Bango kwa ni Arsenal imekuwa wazee wa nyumba kumi. <laughs> <laughs> VP Devi Dani kutoka Nyeri show iko lit sisi kama wana Arsenal Friday tulinyanyaswa lakini najua tutachukua Europa Cup anasema kwamba Europa Cup ni yao na wasikonde kwamba mambo yatakuwa mazuri ni Chelsea kutoka Kitui mimi naonelea Manchester City lazima washinde Chelsea anasema kwamba Man City lazima washinde hey fataki na mikiki ni Bramwell kutoka Kamwene shabiki wa Man City damu nilifurahi tumebeba Carabao PSG tutaua bwana kisha kaeka ubashiri wake ne mtungi Chelsea PSG win Bernard Juma kutoka satellite anasema kwamba Arsenal damu lakini VAR akasema tawe mm, amesisitiza hata zaidi kuna mwingine hapa anasema hujambo nyote na shukuru Maulana kutupatanisha hii leo Jumatatu wiki hii Chelsea iko sawa kabisa ambio bango pole kwa kibano kutoka kwa mwana Everton mtazamaji kisha hapa tu ya mwisho kuna hapa anasema kwamba neli hapa mi ni ah, ni neli hapa Chelsea all the way to the maji tuma jumbe zako endelea kumimina jumbe zako kwenye mtandao wa twitter at ebrotv kenya at davis meria alama reli ni fataki na mikiki kwenye facebook kule kote kote jumbe ni nyingi lakini kama sijasoma jumbe yako jua kwamba kipindi hakijaisha lakini kama sitosoma inapita pale chini na kupenda zaidi mtazamaji haya tuanze moja kwa moja na ligi kuu ya soka uingereza mtazamaji tuangazie bwana matokeo yalikuwa kuaje weekend nzima mambo yakakuwa vipi mtazamaji ijumaa ikaanza asnali ijumaa kalia hata zaidi eti safari ya kuingia weekend ikakuwa ngumu hata zaidi iva tuna kimchabanga moja nunge mm moja kwa ufe lala kabisa Jumamosi Liverpool wakapiga sare moja kwa moja na Newcastle United West Ham United wakaweza kuchabangwa uh, moja nunge na Chelsea Sheffield United wana nyembe wakawakata Brighton moja nunge haya Jumapili tuone mambo yakawa vipi Jumapili eti siku nzito Aston Villa anaanzia chini wakapiga sare mbili mbili dhidi ya West Brom which mtazamaji Leeds United wakaweza kuwakaba hawa ma, wana Manchester United pale Bramall uh, Lane wakaweza kupiga sare ya nunge nunge kisha Wolverhampton wakaweza kupigwa ne nunge dhidi ya Burnley mtazamaji na anza na mechi kati ya wana uh, Arsenal ambao waliweza kupokezwa kichapo bwana kichapo kizito zaidi kutoka kwa Everton mtazamaji uh, tena eti wakiwa nyumbani kilikuwa kichapo ambacho Everton waliweza kutoa ushindi mtazamaji baada ya kipindi cha miaka arobaini na moja mm wakiwa nyumbani kwao Arsenal Ugani Emirates unaizungumziaje Duncan kabla niende kwake ubango kwanza kwanza najua mashabiki wa Arsenal wanasema kuwa VR ime, imeza ku, ili, iliweza kuwanyang'anya penalti pale lakini uh-huh. ukiangalia jinsi yule mchezaji alivyoguzwa kadogo tu uh-huh. uh, mbali na kuangalia ile ilikuwa offside <laughs> lakini pia kadogo tu ashajirusha nadhani pia ilikuwa ndio sema kuwa pia ilikuwa decision mm-hmm. ilikuwa mzuri ilikuwa mzuri sana lakini pia Arsenal mm-hmm. kama unavyosema kila 
kila Jumatatu nikija nasema kuwa Arsenal ni timu kubwa mm -hmm. lakini ifanye mambo nadhani e, Jumatatu iliyopita ili, ili, niliongelea kuhusu Arsenal Obango akasema ah, si, si, Obango akasema sisi kama mashabiki hatulalamiki <laughs> wewe ni nani ulalamike wewe ni nani nilalamike <laughs> nadhani nitalalamika sababu ni Arsenal <laughs> timu ambayo ifai kuwa pale namba 10 <laughs> ifai kuwa pale namba 10 jinsi wanavyopoteza mechi sisi kama kama mashabiki sisi kama kama wanahabari haitubambi <laughs> sana hapana <laughs> <laughs> Obango <laughs> umesikia vi, unasikia vile Duncan anaonyeshea bwana anasema kwamba jinsi tu mnacheza jinsi bwana matokeo yenyu hapo na pale mlipo jedwalini hamfai kwa pale na anasema tu haya kwani Thierry Henry huyu ni agwiji wa siku zote ambaye pia alizeza kuzungumzia hali ya Arsenal akisema kwamba Arsenal si Arsenal tena kwamba kunafaa kuwepo mageuzi katika usimamizi hasa katika asafu ile ya ukufunzi Mwanzo mwambie Duncan pilipili asio ile ya mwashia nini. Mwanzo ajua ajua kawaida katika football mambo mengi hutokea na utadhani utatarajia kuwa timu ya Arsenal wengi wanapenda kuitamka sana timu ya Arsenal hata wale ma city unajua pia siku waipiti kama wajaitaja ile timu ya Arsenal kwa hivyo ni timu ambayo inapendwa hata na ma, na maasidi kuna wakati wao wana, wanavutiwa na ile timu ya Arsenal uh -huh. kwa hivyo kwa sasa tunasema kuwa e, timu ya Arsenal e, msimu hujakuwa mzuri uh -huh. e, tunasema kuwa e, kwa sasa ni kuweza kucheza zile mechi kuweza ku, kumaliza uh -huh. e, tugange yajayo manake kwa sasa kuonekana kuwa E, mechi za usalia za ligi itakuwa ni vigumu sana kwa timu ya Arsenal kuweza kushinda. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia pia masaibu huja huja kwa njia mingi sana utapata kuwa tumenyimwa penalti VAR e, VAR <laughs> imekuwa ni kama adui mkubwa wa timu ya Arsenal. <laughs> Lakini kawaida ililetwa katika mpira iweze kushughulika tulalamiki na VAR maana kuna wakati pia imeweza kuwa na faida kwa timu ya Arsenal. Kwa hivyo <laughs> ni katika kusema kuwa timu ya Arsenal ilikuwa na msimu mzuri uh -huh. uh, itabidi mambo mengi yafanyike ndio ile timu iweze kurudi katika ile uh, nyaji ambao watu wameizoea uh -huh. uh, kwa hivyo hatulalamiki tunasema ni kawaida mpira msimu ujakuwa mzuri kwa Arsenal na watu wasi wasilalamike sana maana yake inauma kusema msimu ujao kwa hivyo uh -huh. lugha yetu <laughs> Unasema mshazoea kusema msimu ujao kisha mkipata matokeo mazuri mnashukuru hata zaidi manake ni adimu zaidi. Kweli? <laughs> Tuangazie mtazamaji mechi nyingine ambapo Chelsea Timo wana mtazamaji alitamba hata zaidi kiasi cha kuapa awa wana Chelsea ushindi wa bomo moja kwa bila kumboa ufe bwana dhidi ya wana West Ham West Ham wamekuwa na msururu mzuri sana na mzungumzie yule kijana mmoja ambaye alitokea pale Manchester United ameweza kuonyesha kwamba uh, mliniachia lakini nilipotua hapa nataka niwaonyeshe kwamba nilikuwa na ubora fulani West Ham kidogo uh, wakati wanapambana wana kuingia Europa wacha hata klabu bingo Ulaya ni pressure ambayo wakianza msimu nadhani mali ambapo wamefika saa hizi wakianza mm -hmm. msimu ile ikuwa waloenda school watasema objective ya club haiku mm -hmm. objective ya kuenda kucheza kwenye ligi kwenye ligi kuu Uingereza au uh, ligi kuu mm -hmm. UEFA na pia Europa saa hizi wamejipata pale nadhani mechi ambazo zimebaki wana zicheza na pressure sana sababu mm -hmm tumeonyesha mchezo mzuri tunaonyesha kuwa tunaweza mm -hmm. lakini sasa imefika mahali mechi dhidi ya Chelsea ilikuwa mechi kati mechi moja mechi za kuangalia sana sababu mm -hmm. timu zote mbili za London mm -hmm. timu ya West Ham imeweza imeweza kuwa na fomu mm -hmm. ile fomu wangeileta kwenye mechi ya Chelsea mm -hmm. watu wanyeshe kuwa tuko tayari kucheza kucheza UEFA tuko tayari kucheza Europa pia mm -hmm. nadhani Chelsea walipata ile 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 chance moja ambao ikatokea pale mm -hmm. timu wana kafunga timu wana ni mchezaji pia tunaona ajaweza kuwa kifunga funga ndio uh -huh. wengi watasema ana create zile chances uh -huh. lakini ajaweza kuwa kifunga uh -huh. uh, ile ile bao moja ambayo alifunga bao alafu tukaona pia alikosa bao nyingine ilikuwa wazi zaidi uh -huh. ile, ile, ile confidence ya timu wana ikirudi uh -huh. Chelsea itaweza kuguzika nadhani itakuwa ngumu sana kwa kuwashinda Chelsea sababu wako na ile ambayo tutaita team depth uh -huh. wako na squad ambayo aishikiki uh -huh. ikiwa ikiwa form aishikiki wasema uh -huh. 
Dan kana anasema kwamba iwapo Chelsea wataganda pamoja kuna uwezekano kwamba msimu kesho huenda wakawa waka timu ambayo ya maklabu ambacho hakitashikika sana mtazamaji Obango na kuhusisha katika uh, ushindi ama ile sare ya Manchester United sare tasa ambayo walipiga dhidi ya Leeds hapa wakiwapa wana Manchester City sasa nafasi ya kutoa taji kabisa sasa manake City anahitaji tu ushindi katika mechi mbili tayari uh, pengo kati yake na mwana Manchester United imeongezeka hadi alama 10. Kwanza unaizungumziaje uh, timu ya Manchester United dhidi ya uh, au vijana wa Marcelo Bielsa mechi hiyo? Mwanzo naweza sema naweza kumbuka kocha wa Manchester United alisema wakati mmoja kuwa huenda bado wako na imani ya waweza kuifikia ile timu ya Man City. Na naweza sema kuwa katika lugha nyingine unaambiwa kuwa wewe bado unaonekana unalala mm-hmm. unaota kwa hivyo uendelea kulala manake <laughs> manake waswahili wanasema kata tamaa uh-huh. eh, na muhimu kubali kukata tamaa kuwa haiwezi mm-hmm. ukiangalia ile mechi ya Leeds ni, ni mechi ilikuwa mechi ngumu sana kwa timu ya Manchester United timu ya Leeds kwa sasa sio timu ambayo nilivyosema hapo awali kuwa ni timu ambayo watu waipatie heshima sana manake si timu ambayo Utanzania utafika pale utapata ni mteremko. Waliweza kucheza vizuri sana. Mm-hmm. Waliweza kudhibiti ngome zote za Manchester United, waliweza kuzuia hata yale zile manafasi ambazo zilikuwa zinazo kuingizwa na timu ya Manchester. Aha. Kwa hivyo na wao pia vile vile waliweza kushambulia, tunaweza kushuhudia wakati mmoja wa ama ama mara kadhaa tunaweza kuona kuwa wakiweza kushambulia katika ile eneo la timu ya Manchester. Na hiyo ni ni mechi ambayo ilikuwa sio sio rahisi kwa Manchester United na nafikiri hiyo mm. e, sare tasa nafikiri ni, ni, ni matokeo mazuri kwa timu zote mbili. Mm. Sare tasa ni matokeo mazuri kwa timu zote mbili mtazamaji. Tuangazie sasa hapa sasa tunatembea tu tukivimba sasa. Tuingie katika usiku wa mabingwa wale ambao wanajua hapa sasa hapa ni walio bora wanapatana na walio bora. Eti sasa nani atakuwa bora zaidi? Haya tuangazie usiku wa mabingwa tuone tu kwanza ratiba inakakaje kama mwelekezo wangu Jose bwana huyu namuita kwamba Jose ni Jose lakini si unajua pa vimombo vimombo Jose. Haya tuangalie ah, hapa ratiba klabu bingwa bara Ulaya Jumanne bwana Real Madrid wanapiga dhidi ya Chelsea Jumatano PSG wanapiga dhidi ya Manchester City tukianza tu na Jumanne mchuano kati ya Real Madrid na Chelsea tuangalie tu takwimu kabla wachanganuzi wangu Duncan na Obango watilie wino kuhusiana na mechi hizi Chelsea takwimu za Real Madrid versus Chelsea Chelsea 2013-14 waliweza bila shaka kupoteza dhidi ya Atletico de Madrid mtazamaji moja tatu katika awamu hii ya nusu finali hii ni nusu finali mtazamaji ya 14 kwa Chelsea katika michuano ya UEFA wameshinda mara sita na kupoteza mara saba mtazamaji uh, kwa upande wao ni nzito hata zaidi tukianza tu Duncan unazungumziaje tu kwanza tukianza na hizi takwimu tu nadhani takwimu siku hizi zimebaki kuwa kama historia uh-huh. na historia iko pale ivunjwe uh-huh. lakini pia ukiangalia hata niguze niguzie mechi yao dhidi ya Real Madrid ukiangalia uh-huh. Real Madrid wakiwa pale kwenye nusu finali uh-huh. sasa wana kocha ule kocha amezoea ile, ile amezoea ile mchezo uh-huh. amezoea ile ki kile kiwango ambacho akosa hizi. Mm-hmm. Kwenye nusu finali tunaona Zidane Zidane anafanya nini? Mm-hmm. Real Madrid ni moja ya timu ambayo ungese, ambazo ungesema kuwa watakuwa pale. Mm-hmm. Na pia Chelsea ni moja kati ya hizo timu ambazo unge, ungeulizo ungesema ah, wale mm-hmm. hawezi fika kwenye kwenye kile kitengo. Mm-hmm. Timu zote mbili ukiangalia Real Madrid na nadhani Real Madrid kiwango, eh, kwenye kiungo chao cha nyuma kidogo mm-hmm. kuna kuna wasiwasi sababu wale wachezaji wao mm-hmm. inasemekana kuwa wanaweza kosekana wanaweza kosekana. Mm-hmm. Chelsea unao wako na wako na ile motisha sababu weekend wameza kushinda ile derby dhidi ya West Ham mm-hmm. sasa hizi wanaonekana kuwa na fomu mm-hmm. nadhani itakuwa ngumu zaidi kwa, kwa Real Madrid wasipochunga mm-hmm. eh, Chelsea huenda waka wakatoka wako waka nyumbani huenda wakashinda ile mechi mm-hmm. na, na uweze kuwa na furaha zaidi mwelekezo wangu Jose nipe uh, pale uh, kwa timu ya Real Madrid bango azungumzie takwimu hiyo kisha tuangazie vikosi vinakaje katika timu hizi zote mbili mtazamaji hayo bila shaka ni takwimu za Real Madrid haya tuangazie uh, vikosi sasa obango aje aguzie kuhusiana na vikosi nipe kikosi cha Chelsea na pia kikosi cha Real Madrid niweze kupitia moja kwa moja Chelsea Mendy anakaa pale michumani as Billy Quetta Silva Rudiger James Jorginho Kante Shewell Mount 
timu wana Kai Havertz upande wa uh, bila shaka wana Real Madrid mtazamaji kikosi hapa ni Kotuas Cavahal Varane Miltao Nacho Casemiro Tony Cruz Modric Asensio Benzema na Vinicius Juma uh, Vinicius Junior mtazamaji hao ama hicho ndicho kikosi cha Real Madrid na Chelsea ambacho tu tunatazamia kwamba kitaanza si eti tumejua uh, kwamba kitaanza hapana kuna wale wachezaji wa Kiba na pia kuna uwezekano kocha pia akafanya mashambulizi ama akafanya mageuzi katika kikosi chake obango kwanza unazungumziaje takwimu na pia uguguzie kikosi bwana e, mwanzo hiyo ni mechi nzuri sana ambayo uh, itachezwa kesho uh, ukiangalia timu ya Madrid ukiangalia timu ya Chelsea ni timu ambazo tumeweza kuona wanapocheza hivi karibuni uh -huh. mwanzo Chelsea ni timu ambayo watu wachungane wach, nayo sana manake kuningana na wanapocheza sasa hizi ni tofauti sana na ile Chelsea ambayo tunaijua uh -huh. E, timu ya Real Madrid pia wamekuwa wakicheza lakini e, mechi yao juzi e, katika ligi yao hakuweza kucheza vizuri sana manake na nadhani yule kocha Zidane alikuwa na labda kufundisha wale wachezaji ambao wale ni wazoefu uh -huh. lakini ukiangalia vile walivyocheza e, wakiweza kucheza vile walivyocheza juzi basi itakuwa ni vigumu sana wao kuweza kufunga ile timu ya Chelsea uh -huh. ingawaje tukiangalia katika takwimu tunaangalia kuwa timu ya Madrid imezoea sana katika zile, zile eneo za 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 nusu finali robo finali nusu mm -hmm. finali hata mm -hmm. vile vile finali lakini Chelsea ninasema Chelsea wanaenda kwa ile mechi kama underdogs mm -hmm. na utaangalia kuwa wachezaji wa Chelsea ambao wewe mmo kwa sasa ni wachezaji ambao ni wachezaji wazuri sana mm -hmm. timu hapo yule yule hapa yule Pulisic eh, wako na kasi sana mm -hmm. eh, yule tumoana wana wanacheza mpira mzuri sana ukiangalia Chelsea hata ukiangalia staff yao katikati tutapata pale yule ngolo kante amerudi ngolo kante sasa. Obango tu ushirikiano mm. wake mm. ushirikiano wake mepu, pale katikati umekuwa ni mzuri sana sana. Mm. Kwa hivyo Chelsea ni timu ambayo tu watu wa watu wachungane wa nayo sana huenda wakafika hata finali. Mimi ni mshabiki wa Real Madrid lakini Madrid wanapocheza kwa sasa si hawachezi mpira ambao wanaweza kuonyesha kuwa wanaweza kufika kwenye finali. Kwa hivyo Chelsea watu wachungane nayo sana huenda waka kwa ubashiri wangu tuko haraka sababu ya muda manake mwelekezo wangu Jose ananifukuza uh, ubashiri wako tuko haraka mechi mbili PSG dhidi ya uh, Man City na Chelsea dhidi ya Real Madrid uh, ubashiri wako wa mabao ama ushindi kwa nani Mwanzo mechi ya mechi ya Chelsea kesho huenda ikaenda sare na yeah. mechi pia ile ya, ya Man City pia Uenda PSG wakaweza kushinda labda kwa, 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 kwa mabao kidogo sana. Mhm. Mm Uenda PSG wakaweza kushinda yeah. kwa mabao kidogo sana. Ubashiri wako? Naipo Chelsea ushindi wa mbili kwa moja. Uh -huh. Pia upande ule mwingine nadhani Paris Saint-Germain itangangana na kuweza kushinda mbili mbili moja. Wanapigia upato Chelsea na Paris Saint-Germain ama ukipenda bwana PSG mtazamaji. Bila shaka imekuwa fataki na mikiki mtazamaji ni kushukuru vipi umetembea nasi tangu mwanzoni hadi tamati hapa changanuzi wangu kwenye Zuma kiwa Athana Sobango na hapa kwenye jukwaa nzima bwana kiwa hapa studio ni uh, Duncan Mtua. Shukran sana wachanganuzi wangu mtazamaji shukran sana mida ya saa 7:30 hadi 8:30 tunalipiga vilivyo wiki hii mtazamaji ikiwa siku ya Ijumaa usikose manake hapa ndiko kitovu kikuu cha michezo yote yote kote kote sikwende mbali manake uh, mwenzangu Kenneth Kazungu anakujia na habari zote za taarifa zote zilizojiri siku nzima au nchini na hata nje ya nchi mtazamaji naitwa Davis Mberia tupige tena mtazamaji siku ya Ijumaa kwaheri